All right, what's going on, you guys? Nick here with Nick Strength and Power. So you guys have been requesting a video on the bodybuilder named Muhammad Makawe. And you guys know I like to listen to my subscribers and give them what they want, so here you guys go. This guy was an Egyptian bodybuilder. He was very short. He only stood five foot four, and his stage weight was between 155 pounds and 165 pounds on average. So this guy actually got his start in lifting in 1969 where he won the junior middleweight powerlifting championships of Egypt. Now, even though they called it powerlifting, it was actually Olympic weightlifting lifts that he set records in. So his record power clean was 135 kilograms, which is also 297.6 pounds. So his other record setting lift was an 110 kilogram snatch, which is the equivalent of 242.5 pounds. So he got his start in lifting with this powerlifting championship in Egypt in 1969. So like I said, this guy was five foot four, and starting out, he only competed in local competitions in the area um, around Egypt. So he won the Mr. Mediterranean competition three times. So his first Mr. Universe competition was in 1976. He won his division, which was the short division at this competition, weighing only 153 pounds. So he won the short Mr. Universe weighing 153 pounds in 1976. Now it's an important it's an important fact to note that he was such a lightweight guy because he competed against a lot bigger guys and placed very, very well. Um, so that's one of the things I'm going to get to next. For those of you who aren't familiar with Lee Haney, Lee Haney was an eight-time Mr. Olympia. So when Muhammad Makawe competed against Lee Haney, they met eight times in competition. Out of the eight times that they competed against each other, Muhammad beat Lee Haney five times out of those eight times. So if you go based on that record, Muhammad was actually a better bodybuilder show for show than Lee Haney. So we're talking about a record setting Mr. Olympia got beaten by this bodybuilder who's only 155 to 165 pounds five times. So that just goes to show how impressive Muhammad Makawe really was. Um, especially at that at that low body weight. That's just a very impressive feat. So in total, he had six professional wins with the IFBB, and he competed in 29 IFBB competitions. Um, his wins included a handful of the Grand Prix competitions overseas, and his Olympia placings were actually very, very good. So in the 1985 Olympia, he placed fourth. In 84 and 83, he placed second back-to-back. In 1982, he placed seventh, and in 1978, he placed sixth. So he had four top six finishes at the Olympia and one seventh place finish, um, and two of them were runner-ups at the Olympia. So this guy was a great bodybuilder, uh, placed very well at the Olympia, won a lot of shows for a pro bodybuilder, um, and he did it at a very light weight. Um, a lot of people really appreciated his physique for the aesthetics of it. He was a very aesthetic guy, obviously, at that body weight, 155 to 165, it's kind of hard to become a mass monster, become a freak, and lose your aesthetics. So that's one of the things he was really notorious for, was his ability to place very highly in these IFBB Pro shows and stay at a relatively low body weight. He was a relatively short guy, smaller guy, and, and beat guys like Lee Haney. I mean, this was a really impressive bodybuilder. Beating Lee Haney, that's no small thing. I mean, this guy was, this guy was the cream of the crop. Um, in bodybuilding in the 70s and 80s. So this guy was definitely a top tier guy. And this is a guy you really don't hear a lot about anymore. So I wanted to make a video about him because how often do you hear his name come up in the conversation of greatest bodybuilders of all time? When people talk about the greatest of all time, they talk about the Ronnie Coleman's, um, the Phil Heath's, the Kai Green's, um, you know, the Arnold Schwarzenegger's, but these lesser known guys that were consistent great placers they beat a lot of great bodybuilders they were you know runner up at the olympia you don't hear these guys get talked about so i wanted to make videos about guys like this and kind of give them recognition that they don't get anymore so give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it i hope you enjoyed the video nick strength and power signing out